Hello and welcome to another instructional video on how to load 7 Days to Die the Sorcery mod with Darkness Falls but actually loading it manually and not using the mod launcher. Doing this will allow you a little bit better control and less likely to have any type of errors. So let's go ahead and walk through the steps necessary. First we're going to go to Steam and we are going to uh, make sure that we have a good clean copy to start with. So we're going to go to the 7 Days to Die game here. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to Properties here, go to Local Files, and then Verify the Integrity of Game Files. I'm going to go ahead and click this and let this load. Um, and what this is going to do is make sure you have a clean, uncorrupted game file to start with for 7 Days to Die, because that is critical. Now I've already done this, I did this a few minutes ago. It takes anywhere from 5 to about 10 minutes to do this, um, but once done you'll know you have a clean copy of 7 Days to Die, which is very important. Alright, so once that is complete, I am now going to copy the game file. So I'm going to go to Steam on my D drive where all the games are saved. Go to Steam Apps, go to Common, I'm going to find 7 Days to Die, I'm going to right click again, I'm just going to hit copy. I'm going to go back to the D drive and I'm going to create a new folder here. So I'm going to name this one, um, let's see, DF slash, actually, you know what, there's no slashes, we'll do, we'll do dash here, uh, sorcery. All right, so we're going to have a new file here. I'm going to open it up, I'm going to hit right click, and I'm going to go ahead and paste the game file over here. It's going to take a little bit. We'll let this work and we'll come back. All right, so earlier I put out a video on how to load Darkness Falls with Sorcery and I ended up using the mod launcher to do most of the work for me. Um, and since then I've had uh, some people say it didn't quite work for them and sometimes there's an issue with the mod launcher. Um, not placing any blame there, but you know, it's copying files automatically for you. You might have a, a, a not a good game copy. There could be all sorts of other problems. So by doing this video here, I'm going to start from scratch with just the 7 Days to Die um, game on Steam and start with a clean copy of everything and get this loaded. Uh, so you can see really it is time consuming, but it is pretty easy to load these two mods together um, to make a much more enjo uh, enjoyable uh, playthrough. Okay, so this has taken about 8 minutes maybe 10 minutes to get a clean copy of the game. So here I am in my new Darkness Falls Sorcery directory and I have the copy of the game right here. All right, from here, I could just double click here and play the game. I wanna go ahead and open up the mods folder and show you that it's empty because this is a clean copy of the game. All right, so with that out of the way, we are now going to go find the Darkness Falls mod. I am going to go to Google. I'm going to simply search uh, seven days to die forums. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and click to the forums. Pretty well laid out, pretty easy to find what you're looking for here. We're going to go to mods. And then we are going to find the darkness falls. They mostly come out at night. So we're going to go ahead and click to the very first page. And what you want to do is uh, you can read up on the, the Darkness Falls mod if you would like to get a little insight into the classes. But otherwise, you want to scroll down to the third set, uh, the third post here. And the instructions are right here. If you do not use the mod launcher, make a copy of your 7 Days to Die folder first, which is exactly what we just did. Next step is to download the zip file at the link above. So that's going to be right here. Uh, and after you, you do that, you're going to unzip the 7 Days to Die data, um, the data file, and the mods folder to the 7 Days to Die folder and overwrite everything that's there now because this is an overhaul mod. Uh, the mod uses SDX as it says, so all three folders and their contents are needed or you're going to have problems. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download um, the client download. Give it a quick click. You can see it's downloading down here. It's going to be a big file, so give it a little bit of time. As you can see, this is a pretty large file. We're already at 2.2 gigabytes and it is still going. 
So be patient with this download. All right, so this finished at about 3.1 gigabytes, I think. Uh, might have been 3.2, it, it kind of went away real quick there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unzip this. We're gonna click it to open it up. Here we go, we're gonna double click. All right, and if you remember those instructions, we want these three files, okay? So we're going to sh shift and click, and we're going to copy those. We're going to go ahead and go back to our, should have it open already, right here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste those three files here. And it is going to copy over, looks like 3,360 files. And it should give me an overwrite option here pretty soon. All right, we are getting to the end of the copying here. All right, so now we want to go ahead and replace those files. So we're going to go ahead and hit replace. Copying is done. Now what we're just do is a quick little double check of mods here. And there you go. You can see that we have copied successfully. I don't know that you can look at this and necessarily tell, but if we were to double click this right here, we would be playing Darkness Falls just by itself. I'm going to take it a step further and now we are going to download and load in the sorcery mod because the two do pair together pretty well. So for that, I am actually going to go to the sorcery discord. Um, there are some uh, great things to find here in the sorcery discord. Uh, one of which is actually the download files that you want to get um, in order to get what you need. So all of these are pinned messages, and it actually tells you exactly here how to load Darkness Falls with Sorcery. All right, so we're gonna download Sorcery. You also have to download the compatibility patch, and you're gonna unzip the Sorcery Master Zip and the Sorcery Compatibility, and you're gonna drag and drop the single Sorcery uh, folder into the mods, okay? And then you're going to do the two sorcery compatibility uh, DF and one dash darkness falls again directly into the mods folder. All right, so first we're going to download sorcery. So we're going to click uh, this link here. All right, it is downloading down here at the bottom, and it is not nearly as large as darkness falls, so it's not going to take uh, the same amount of time. All right, so this file is done. We're going to go ahead and open it up. And what we want to get out of here is just this sorcery one right here. We do not want deep pockets. Deep pockets will not work. So we're going to copy this right here. And again, I should already have the Darkness Falls open. I do. So I'm going to go to the mods here. And I'm going to plug this one in. So I'm going to paste that. This is really quick. All right, so now we have the first file of sorcery. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Discord page. So the sorcery mod is done. Now we're gonna get the compatibility patch. We're gonna click on that. Let this download as well. This should be very quick. In fact, it's already done. So we're gonna open this one. And you want both of those files here. So we're gonna shift click both of those. We're gonna copy that. Go ahead and go back to this one, and I'm terrible about closing those extra windows. Don't worry, I'll get that done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and paste both of these files in here, and it, it was it was practically instant right there. All right, now I'm gonna go back to Discord, make sure I didn't m miss anything. All right, you can verify the mod path, and you are ready to play. So let's go ahead and go back. We're gonna go back to the main. We're going to go ahead and launch the game, and we should launch Darkness Falls with Sorcery. So let's see. All right, this process does take a little bit, so I will talk through it for a few seconds. And I want to go ahead and uh, give a big shout out and big huge thanks to Kane for actually making Darkness Falls. It is a fantastic overhaul, and I know he spends a lot of time working on this. All right, 
We got some sound going on it already, but I am not capturing the game sound, I don't believe. Second shout out I want to give is to Devrix, the creator of the sorcery mod, who is feverishly working on it to keep it updated and put out the other elements. This version of sorcery will only have the fire um, spell tree and the regular sorcery spell tree. Um, ice will be coming out hopefully very soon and then lightning after that and then the holy and unholy magic trees. All right, so we're loading up the main menu here. All right, we got the alpha 19.3 build six up in the top right hand corner. It's the latest stable build. So far, so good. All right, and right about here, right after this loading block textures is usually when the screen changes to the custom background. There you go. You have Seven Days to Die modded with Darkness Falls version 3.3a, as well as Sorcery version 0.922. We're going to go ahead and create a new game because I do think this part is a very important right here. Um, so I'm just going to name this one uh, Darkness Falls Play. When creating your map, you absolutely want to pick one of the pre-done maps for Darkness Falls. The reason you want to do this is Darkness Falls does have some very custom POIs um, that you just cannot find anywhere else um, and greatly affects the gameplay. Um, like you're just ruining the gameplay if you do not use one of these pre-generated maps that, that he has created. So there's a little bit of choice here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Darkness Falls Medium 1. Uh, I'm going to set this to whatever the defaults are. Uh, we're going to set this, what is that, every seven days. Profiles on, advanced, five days. Whoo. What is the default it's supposed to be? 30 days, wow, okay. I like every five days, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at five days. And uh, we're not gonna commit suicide here. We're gonna go down to eight enemies. If you've never done Darkness Falls before, do not start off hard, start easy, give yourself a chance. We're gonna go ahead and do um, everyday airdrops, we're not gonna do cheat mode, and we're gonna go ahead and start. There's very intense music going on right now, and I, I do wish that I had uh, captured the sound for the game, but uh, I didn't think it would be that important, so I did not. I apologize. You're missing out. The load time for these mods is a little bit longer, so you want to give it a little bit more time and be patient. All right, so not going to lie, that took a little over two and a half minutes. Um, but you can see that traitor faction, that is, uh, that is a little bit new for Darkness Falls here. Trade your education program, nice. Just some of the benefits of uh, Darkness Falls here. All right, so the world is initiating. All right, so the initializing world part looks like it's taken about another minute or so, uh, so far. Music has stopped. Uh, that is perfectly normal. So don't freak out. Um, don't think your game has crashed or anything like that. All right, it is now on the creating player, building the environment, moving on, getting started. All right, so let's let it get loaded up. Takes a little while to get up off the ground. All right, so welcome to uh, Darkness Falls. Check your journal, collect your classes. All right. Getting started. So here we are, we're in Darkness Falls. And I can already tell, you can see the addition. This is all sorcery related. So we got the sorcery starting book, um, which is awesome if you read this. It'll get you started with the awakening, uh, with a couple of quests to get started. We're going to accept that. And uh, here comes the crazy part. you got to run from these people. Got to run. Got to run until you hear the meteors. And the meteors drop them for you. All right. There you go. That is how you load Darkness Falls with the Sorcery Mod manually, not using the Mod Launcher. It took about 30 minutes total from the very beginning where I was downloading everything uh, to playtime. Um, obviously, this video I'm going to edit down so it's not that long. But if you found this useful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It does help out the channel. Thank you very much for joining me here. I hope you enjoy playing Darkness Falls and Sorcery. 
This is all thanks to Kane and Devrix. This is Alton. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.